Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Travis D. playing some Pillars of Eternity. We're over here in Raedric's Hold. Trying to deal with this quest now. Right. And we killed a bunch of guards up here. Apparently these guys don't like us here. So, we do have a door right here. And what did it say? Temple storage. So we're going to go investigate this next. So, let's go. Oh, where are we at now here? Okay, here we go. Raedric's Hold Sanctuary again. What is this? To the Keep Kitchen. Alright. What do we have in here? Baratheon Priest Robes. Okay. What are these things? These robes are the traditional attire worn by the Baratheon Priests in Radric's Hold. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Addendum. I found some Baratheon robes. They may help me blend in with the priests in this floor. Hmm. Let's take a look in here. And some more robes. And a fine pole axe. Okay. Let's see. Let's grab all this and let's stash this. Alright, anything else here? Ooh, curtain wall construction completed. Alright. Let's see, what can we build now? Towers. Let's get the south curtain wall now. Let's get that one done. Yeah, we. Yeah, we got plenty of money. Yep, let's build it. Alright, so we can go down right there. And we have a door here. Well, let's let's see here. What if we equip these on everybody? Let's see what happens. This shit better work, man. We have enough for everybody. And finally, Alof. Let's get this on. Okay. <laughs> Damage reduction 2. Yeah, we better not get in any fights with this stuff on. Well, let's see what happens. Let's take a look and see what we have through here. There's a shelf over there. I'm hoping this stuff will work if we run into any guards here. Or priests, I guess I should say. What do we have here? And some male armor and a winged helm. Let's stash that. And what do we have here? A hatchet. Let's grab that. Alright, who's this? Acolyte of Barath. They're in a neutral state right now. Let's go test the theory. Yeah, they can see us. They say anything? Widewind's legacy is but a sign of Barath's displeasure. Hold, brother. Pardon my interruption. But I don't seem to recall seeing you before. Oh, here we go. Let's try this resolve one. What? I don't have time to entertain your lack of perception. Off with you. <laughs> your curt and assertive reply seems to take the Baratheon priest by surprise. Uh, I didn't mean to offend. Please, continue with your duties. The priest returns to hurriedly move away. Okay. That was too close. Best if we can avoid being seen altogether. Okay. I'll see what I can find. Alright, we have a door over here. What's through here? Acolyte of Barath. Priestess of Barath. And we got a lock there's cabinet. A pick, there's a way. Oh, we got some potions here. Nice. Power, minor regenerations. Hell yeah. Let's see. Let's give Let's give Aloth the minor regeneration. And let's give Yeah, let's give Pelagina the potion. And we'll stash the rest. Anything else in here? Hmm, I wonder if we should try to avoid that guy or something. Nothing else in here. 
Hold, brother. Ah. No one is to leave their post until Raedric gives word. Where are you going? <laughs> Alright, let's try resolve again. Are you thick? Raedric just orders us to search rooms. Kolsch men may still be in the keep. The paladin blinks at you, taken aback. Well then. Yes, I'll leave you to it. May Barath grant your forces a swift passing. Without any further delay, the paladin hurries out of your sight. Alright. It's through here then. Another priest. Alright, let's. Open. And. We've got a locked door here. What do we have here? The Deerwood Part 4 Hadrit's Rebellion. Another lore book. And some coins and a scrawled note. I got your gift. I can't believe someone actually wrote down that kind of thing on parchment. I left something for you in the chapel. Careful not to go digging in the wrong skull again. Hmm. Something in the chapel, huh? What do we have here? The Deerwood Part 5. Another lore book. Let's go ahead and stash that. The Many Faces of Barath. I think we read this one already. Let's grab that. And there's something here on the desk. A pile of coins. Let's grab it. Nothing but Priests of Barath, though. Yeah, I think we're low on lockpicks, so I'm going to wait on this. Yeah, we're going to need eight lockpicks. Alright, let's go through here. Yeah, we might be able to find a key or something around here, too. Who's this guy? Acolyte. Priest of Barath. Locked door. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Let's check this out real quick. Oh, is that the skull that Note was talking about? Let's check it out. Bloodstone. Alright. Temple Guardian, Paladin of Barath. Priest of Barath. There's something ahead. Oh. Something hidden in this skull, too. Oh, it's a switch. Okay. Let's check this whole place. Acolytes. What's this? Man, where the hell are we at now? Redrix holds dungeons. Alright, there's something on the wall here. Okay, this is a whole nother... I want to go back up and search that place, so let's go back up there. We'll come back down here later. What does this say? Sweet musky incense is stored in boxes under the altar. Nothing hidden here. Alright, let's see what's through here. Okay, let's Where open this pick, door. There's a way. Okay. Anything else in here? Who's this? Nedmar. Let's search this whole damn place. There's something right here. Minor recovery in a pile of coins. And what do we have here? Baratheon scripture. Another lore book. Alright, let's stash that. Nedmar. This frail old priest is hunched over a table surrounded by scattered scrolls and parchment, examining their contents with the aid of a thick monocle. He glances up as you approach, blinking roomy eyes. More visitors, then? You're not one of the acolytes. Or the guards, for that matter. Which makes you an intruder at the least. Kolsch put you up to this, I suppose. Yes, that would be him. Sending young men to dash themselves against the keep's defenses. 
Would that my sermons could draw such fervor. Still, you are here. What is it you want? Hmm. How do you know I came on here on behalf of Kolsch? My eyes may be failing me, but my wits have not. Kolsch has recruited what allies he can, and he has begun to strike against the keep in earnest. It has not been long since his latest effort. As I predicted, and as you can see, the attempt was a disaster. Kolsch is unwilling to grasp certain truths, nor does he understand what it is that keeps Redrick in power. He will need much guidance if he means to take Radric's place. I can only hope he would listen. Good thing his predecessor set expectations low then. <laughs> you don't seem to think much of this Kolsch fellow. It's not that. I simply disagree with his methods. We have known each other for a long time. Or I remember him as a young lad. It makes it all the harder to see him act this way impulsively, blindly. He and his followers have brought more harm than good for all his good intentions. But I do not wish him harm, and so I find myself caught within their struggle for power. But neither Kolsch nor Radric can resolve this crisis. They are but mortal men. We must turn to Barath. It is the twinned god who will bring peace and balance to the souls of Gilded Vale, and it is to Barath that we must pray if we are to see Wideone's legacy ended. I'm here to face Radric. Will you help me? Denmar's brows knit together in an expression of mournful regret. I don't know that I can. I have tried to warn Kolsch and his people of the dangers. I have, in truth, tried often to sway them from their path. My efforts do not seem to have made any difference. Play nice with the fellow that wants to kill you and all your friends. Can't imagine why they wouldn't listen to sound advice like that. Even poor Giacco. I thought he at least might be saved. But he's Osria's now. Fodder for her experiments. He bows his head, setting his trembling hands upon the table for support. I have narrowly escaped suspicion. Radric is in the grip of grief and will not be swayed. He will bring his wrath down upon these poor prisoners, and I cannot shoulder that guilt. I cannot bear it. Tell me about Giacco. One of my acolytes. I found him begging in the street when he was but a young lad. I took him in. I hoped he might grow within the church, take my place when I grew too old to serve Lord Radric. But he took an interest in Kolsch's efforts, his vain rebellion. I could not keep him from leaving. And now he has joined Kolsch against our lord and lingers in the dungeons. I fear he may have already fallen victim to Osria's evil designs. You mentioned Osria's experiments? Osria a bright young woman corrupted by the teachings of the Animancers. She has filled Lord Radric's head with blasphemous notions and false hope, preying upon his desire to guide his people. And he has been foolish enough to listen. Radric has given Osria leave to conduct what experiments she will. Now the lowest reaches of the keep are fouled with the smell of rot. Who knows what souls dwell lamenting in that darkness? Animancers. Why am I not surprised they're involved in this nonsense? I begged Lord Radric's forgiveness on my acolyte's behalf, but I think I've only delayed Giacco's fate. He is at Osria's mercy now. If I save Giacco, will you help me reach Radric? I... I could give you the means to enter Radric's chapel below. That would put you beside his throne room but I cannot risk it while Giacco is in danger. If you can see him safely out of Osria's reach, I promise you, I will do my best to help you. Oh, this will do you more good than a disguise. We have a passphrase. It is, from every ending, a beginning. Say that, and the guard's heel will leave you be. On this floor alone, I'm afraid. 
Radric sellswords have little patience for such things. I will do my best to avoid bloodshed. The old priest lets out a relieved breath, and you see the first small semblance of hope within his eyes. Be cautious. Osria wields powerful sorceries, and she has a fondness for cruel traps. I don't doubt she will be a terrible foe if angered. Gods guide you. Right. Hmm. I have spoken with Nedmar, the high priest. He promised to grant me safe access to Radric's throne room if I manage to free his former acolyte, Giacco, from the keep's prisons in the lower dungeons. Hmm. Okay. Eyes open. So now we got a reason to go in those dungeons. Admeth Hadrit, Part 2, The Rebellion. Another lore book. And what do we have here? A fine robe. Some spirits. What did this do? Plus one constitution. And a scroll of restore minor endurance. Okay. Let's grab that stuff and then we can stash this. Alright, let's check the rest of this place out. So yeah, we need to come back down here. But there was a room over here we need to look in yet, I think. Well, we got a stairway going up. Who's this? Acolyte of Barath. Paladin of Barath. And let's see, some more spirits. And we can stash the rest of this stuff. Some crafting material. Who's this? High Priestess. Hold there! What are you doing here? From every ending, a beginning. Apologies, Acolyte. Go on your way. Okay. Lay in low. Alright, let's go see what we got over here on the table. And some more crafting material. Let's grab that. Well, let's see. I guess we can put our armor back on if we know that passphrase. Let's see what'll happen. Just for the hells of it. Let's put it on everybody. Let's see. Who could use this stuff? Let's give the spirits to Pelagina. Actually, you know what? Let's give this potion of power to Pelagina. Let's give the spirits to Adir. Potion of regeneration. I guess we can give that to Travis. And a scroll of Restore Minor Endurance, we can give that to him too, I guess. And we can give that to a deer. Okay. Okay, so we're armored up. Right, let's take a look at a map here. There's a to the siege platform. What the hell is that? Let's check that out real quick. Oh, okay, we're up in the battlements now. Okay. Well, let's search through here, see if there's anything interesting. Let's see, where are we? Okay, we're right here now. It's over here. And some stash material. Let's check out the top of the steps. No guards, though. That's good. What do we have over here? Oh, what's this, a big ballista or something? There's something ahead. Looks like it. And we have a secret. What do we have here? Boots of stability. Plus 30 defense against prone attacks. Plus 15 defense against push attacks. And a scroll of fan of flames. Hmm. Alright, let's grab all that stuff. And what else do we have down here? There's some more containers down here. And some stash material. 
Potion of Iron Skin, plus 8 damage reduction until damaged. Hmm. Alright, let's grab all that. And nothing else up here. Alright, let's take a look at some of this gear that we just picked up then. Alright, boots. Who's got a boot slot open? We got quite a few slots open. I'm thinking that will benefit one of our frontline fighters though. Let's give that to a deer. And let's make sure nothing is getting suppressed. Yeah, we only have this one thing getting suppressed, but I know what that is already. Alright, that'll work. Alright, and a scroll of fan of flames. Hmm. You know what? Let's give that to Aloth. We can stash this. Potion of Iron Skin. Let's give that to Pelagina. Okay. And I think that'll be alright. Alright, let's get out of here. As okay. Wish. Back in the sanctuary level. So I guess we might as well go down to the dungeon and see if we can find this Giaco guy. And then go on from there. I think we've been everywhere else except for that locked door over there. Alright, let's go back down here then. Okay, back down in the dungeon. Let's search through here. Is there anything else in here? Nope. Alright, this place looks like it's going to be pretty good size. Alright, let's go ahead and do a quick save here.